guys, it's Logic, best shit video. Basically, what this video is, is me showing you guys the best LeBron build all to get 20. If you guys are in the channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, so usually you make the build, you go small forward, right handed, left handed, it doesn't really matter. Up to you, that's just preference. Now, with the pot chart, you want to go blue and yellow, that is a playmaking and finishing pot chart. Very slept on pot chart, to be honest. Not a lot of people make it. But uh, yeah, and then you want to go to physical profile. You want to go ahead and pick the either all speed or speed invert. You want to scroll all the way down and you want to get the speed invert and defensive pot chart. Well, not defense, but strength pot chart. So it's up to you what you want to do with that, depending on how you make the build. If you make this build with four to six defensive badges, then go towards the last pot chart. If you're making the build with one defensive badge, I'd go speed invert or speed. Up to you. But this build is an offensive minded type of build. You're worried, way worried about the offense, trying to be like LeBron as much as you can, which does take a hit for the defense. But Joe knows, you guys may or may not know him. Popper YouTuber, he made the same build, and he went crazy with it with one defensive badge the whole year. He went grinding the whole game, hit legend with one defensive badge. So it's really not unheard of to make a build and have one defensive badge. I know plenty of people that have one defensive badge and still get the job done. Now remember, you're 6'7, so it's not like you're not going to get stops in the paint. Or you're not gonna get stops on perimeter. Your perimeter and um, lateral are both max, and you still have good interior. So it's not like oh, you're just gonna make stuff on you every possession or make bullshit. So you ain't gonna worry about that. Now, when making this build, go ahead and max everything in blue, but the post hook, or you can switch out the standing dunk and upgrade the post hook. Whatever you're gonna be doing more. If I was to go back and remake, I'd probably put out the post hook, put it up some more, because I tend to do that a lot. Plus, this build really can be like a mini post score. If you guys see the post moves right there, a lot of people don't know this. And I don't know if you guys are going to watch this far in the video, but if you do get this far, post moves are a very, very underrated attribute. Upgrading gives you blow buys when you get in the post and you turbo into them or you spin to the left or right side of them. You get a blow by almost every time. Now, not a lot of people don't know that because they don't play post score, so they wouldn't know that. And you guys see the playmaking badges. You get like 20, 25 playmaking badges depending on how you make it. Go ahead and throw on post Hall of Fame. Bam, you just spin off these two-way slasher playmakers, rebound on wings, two-way slashers, literally anything. It doesn't matter. You're small forward. You're going to spin right off them. So definitely go ahead and upgrade it. Underrated stat. Now with the defense, upgrade lateral, perimeter, and interior. Those are the main important things. Now, like I said, if you don't want to upgrade post moves or you don't want to standing dunk, you can go ahead, max out your block, and give yourself some defensive rebounding attributes if you're, just, if you're worried about the defensive upgrades and, like, the badges. But, like, I'm going to say this again. Popper YouTuber Joe went crazy the whole year with one defensive badge. So, if you guys know how to play defense, you know how to stick your man, you'll be fine. Put on Clams Bronze. You'll be more than good enough by Garrett. It's not a problem. Build is very, very good on offense, and it's a very dominant twos build, in my opinion. You play a lot of two-way slasher playmakers, obviously, and this is overpowering to them because you have Hall of Fame finishing badges, and most of these dudes got, like, 40, 50 interiors. They're, get, they're getting dunked on every time, so this is a very slept-on build, and I would recommend this highly. I think I'm going to go ahead and make this build and for legend badges. It's going to be insane. I'm going to get my 11 defensive badges, like, 28 finishing badges, 35 playmaking badges, 23 shooting badges, so it's a very good build. Also, when you make this build, guys, don't go anything less than 6'7". Don't go 6'8". And I wouldn't even go below. Yeah, I would stay at 6'7", right? I know LeBron's not 6'7", but you guys see the negatives when you go higher in this game. That's, listen, the, I think the cap out on, like, the good defense is 6'7", because after that, that's when it gets into the territory of center, and then the defense starts to get really bad on perimeter and lateral. So that's why you just stay at the 6'7". So, yeah, don't go past that and don't go under it. Now, with the arms and the weight, all right, this is tricky, right? Because if you mess this one up, the whole the whole build becomes terrible, and you don't want to do that, right? So, watch how I make my arms. If you guys want to go lower on the arms, be my guest. But what I'm doing right now, 80, 79, and 81, stay in that range and don't go out of it. If you think you're confident and you want to go max arms, I mean, go ahead and do it. If you went with more defensive badges, that's not a bad option at all. It can be more of a hop setting build that shoots middies. Because I actually have a build called Slash and Play. It's got a 62 three ball and a 68 mid range. And I green everything with it. So if you guys are very confident in your shooting, go ahead and max your arms out. That's not a bad option at all. But you're gonna take a hit on the playmaking, obviously. And you don't want to do that. So I recommend just going six, seven, between 79, 78, and 80, 81. Don't go anything out of there. And 78 is really, really low. But if you want to go there for the higher three ball, better playmaking, go ahead. But you guys got 25 playmaking badges, so you're really gonna go to work. You'll be fine. As you see, I think in this video I'm doing, I believe I do 80 on the on the wingspan. I think I do. The weight, don't go, because I, mine's optional what I did. Don't go between, or don't go less than 200. All right, don't go less than 200. And don't go above 220, 230. That's just my opinion. 
you would still want to be fast and mobile. Yeah, here the arm is really go. 84 too high. Unless, like I said, you're very confident in your shot and you just want more defense. But like I said, 80, 81 is really, really good on this build. And recommend it highly. It gets in those passing lanes, even though you don't have a steal attribute upgraded much. Or maybe you do. So you're going to get in those passing lanes, you're going to grab every steal. So yeah, this is what I'll do for the arms. Now, like I said, guys, when you're making this build, don't go anything above or under 6'7 and don't go above 6'7. Because that's when the minuses really start to happen and it's just not worth it, right? So this height and this weight, and these wingspans, they shoot as a copy in it and just do exactly what I did. Now, see, post takeover. That is an option if you guys go longer in the arms. But you want the facilitated finisher name. So go ahead and do what the arms I just did right there. Pick your slash and take over. But if you want to go post takeover, go ahead. I'm telling you guys right now, it's, don't, it's not a dumb thing to do. When I make this build, I might go back and I might do post takeover. I might make some videos on it. I might get some gameplay. So definitely don't sleep on post takeover it's actually really underrated for making guard belts with post takeover it's actually really underrated and it's really overpowered too guys like you literally can just spin off them if you're boxed let's say you're top of the key you don't really want to shoot hey spin off them easy dog they pick up hit your teammate wide open in the corner now the playmaking badges the finishing badges are the the biggest pros of this build guys so make sure you guys are putting on the best badges acrobat consistent finisher fancy forks slithery contact finisher all gotta be a hall of fame all right whatever you do after that doesn't really matter but what i just do right there perfect badge layout easy hop steps easy blow buys easy baselines build is a demon so yeah shooting badges now with the shooting badges I, i'm telling you for builds like this don't go put on gold court jaw i know you guys oh gold court jaw is way better than silver when timing jumpers like this that have low three balls and are taller, you want to go silver quick jaw. Like I said, because from experience, from an experienced player, I'm telling you guys, 100% worth it to go slow. You're gonna be left wide open. They're not gonna guard a facilitated finisher at the three. All right, so you wanna have, you're gonna have so much time to time your jumper. Put on the silver quick jaw. Ice on that mid range. Ice on that corner. Spam hezzies in the corner. That listen. As somebody that plays on builds with very low three balls, right? Corner's your best option in ingrooting as much as possible. The corner specials gives you a lot of pluses to your shot, so I recommend doing that. Here we go with the playmaking badges. Dimer, floor general, hands for days, and a pluck ball fam. Now, if you guys don't think you want to have a pluck ball fam, go ahead and get bailout bronze. I wouldn't be opposed to it either. Very good option. Don't want space creator and do like a little Ticino Hezzy with X and left stick. If you guys want to do that, ankle breakers off that. You guys can really play around with this and do what you want. But I recommend giving your teammate Dimer for zone because you're going to get double team a lot in this build because you're going to be going just dogging out the little guard or whatever you're on because it's just you're just the size comparison you're just overpowered right so they're gonna be picking up a lot so yeah don't want the dive on floors you know help your spot up spot up out and go crazy so if you guys are the video don't forget to like comment subscribe hit that sub button if you guys are new and yeah it's Matt logic and i'm out peace I'm on the roller coaster, summer deep in outer space. I'm with my baby, give me face in different kind of places. I'm feeling heavy, looking hefty in a rocket Chevy. A missionary, wait, wait, hold up. I'm on the roller coaster, summer deep in outer space. I'm with my baby, give me face in different kind of places. I'm feeling heavy, looking hefty in a rocket Chevy. A missionary, vigilante, or a visionary. Tell my ASAP, then let's get they feeling steady. I've read the model, not the hollows, fuck a dictionary. I've got a friend or maybe four, but 20 adversaries. I hit the bottom, not the crack, I stick to smoking, man. <laughs> That's what we talk. If you're not fucking with the fire, you better breathe slow. If you're not walking on the